Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. It is October 3rd, that means it's time for some Halloween related tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool candy corn themed trick or treat bag. And it is an activity that's been floating around the Duck Brown website for probably a few years now. And I decided to do my own little version of it and introduce it to the channel in this video. So let's get started here on making the candy corn Halloween trick or treat bag. Alright, so when you're making your candy corn trick or treat bag here, you do have a few options. I'm going to be going with the duct tape and newspaper option, which you can see here. You can make the sheets that, you're going, that are going to be your bag out of totally duct tape. You're just going to take a whole bunch of strips and apply them back and forth until you have a really large sheet to however big you want your bag. I actually use the newspaper and some duct tape here. This is about one section of my local newspaper, and I sealed it up on all the sides with duct tape so you know, the paper can't move around. And I have two of those here. So one section for each spot here and then I just cut it into that triangle shape which you see here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two together and then we're going to start color co uh, coordinating it like with the uh, the candy corn colors and then we'll start working on the strap and stuff like that. So let's get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is connect these two sides as well as the bottom and I got some really long strips here and what we're going to do is just connect these two pieces together. I made this bag fairly small but it's just roughly you know the same size I've made uh, where I just the same size as my trick-or-treat bags I've used you know way in the past so you guys can make your bag as big or as small as you want to my neighborhood's kind of small so I don't get quite that much candy so I, I just made a small bag here but like I said you can make it as big or as small as you want to that's gonna be the one side right there don't worry about the little bit of overlap you know on the sides that's not gonna make too much of a difference and the most important thing when you're doing this is to make sure that they're completely lined up and they're pretty good so what I'm going to do is put half of it on this piece here, just like the other side, flip the whole thing over. It's not quite lined up perfectly, but that's okay as long as it's sealed up. And then what I'm going to do is seal up the bottom right down here with this piece of tape. Make sure you get about half of it on each side. That will make sure that it's nice and you know, nice and even, and it'll add a lot of strength to the bag. The newspaper is going to be pretty tough once you cover it with tape, but you want it to be nice and you know tough with everything on there. Use your hobby knife or a pair of scissors to trim off any of these fringes up here. And then obviously we have the top open, which we're going to leave open, and then we'll start covering this with duct tape. Now comes the time we actually get to start coloring our bag the candy corn colors. Candy corn is always white at the tip, so what we're going to do is just cover this up like this. And then this will obviously be one side, and we're going to have to do the other side as well. And then you can just come up as far as you want to on your bag here. And don't worry if you kind of, you know, don't put the colors in proportion to as they are like on a candy corn piece because you can always just cover up pieces with a different color tape as you go. So we're gonna put this one right about there. And that should be pretty much perfect for our white piece of the candy corn bag. Next color is of course orange. And bear in mind, you kind of have to make these, you know, different sizes or different lengths as you go up your candy corn here. It's the shortest at the bottom, obviously. And now we're going to stick the orange onto here, just like that. And of course, you know, if you don't cover up the sides or anything like this a little bit over here, I can always just take, you know, another strip of tape and cover it up. It's not gonna be any problem. But I'm just gonna roll these right on. And this really just gives the bag a lot of strength because the newspaper is pretty strong by itself, but once you connect it with duct tape, it really starts to add a lot of different layers to it and just really adds to the strength of the bag. So now we have the orange part done, now we're going to work on the yellow part. I figured I probably didn't need to show you the yellow part because it's exactly the same as these down here, just a different color. There are a few ways that you can improve your bag. You can round the tips down here to make it look a little bit more like a piece of candy corn. That's a, one of the options that you have. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the strap. I actually made the strap out of the candy corn duct tape by Duck Brand, which is kind of cool. That came out fairly recently. And one of the ways you can attach the, attach the strap here is to just, I got some extra piece of tape on here. And I'm just going to seal it on just like this. That's one of the ways you can do it. You can also put a few going this way, which will prevent it from ripping out. It depends on how heavy your candy bag is going to get, really. But this one, it's not going to carry very much. This is what the back looks like when, once it's unfinished, but you're just going to, you know, do the exact same thing as you would on the other side. And you would attach your strap right about there. If you make the strap long enough, you can actually use it as like a shoulder sling, which is really cool. And of course, this is your candy bag in there. That's going to hold a decent amount of candy, probably more than my neighborhood would give out. But you have that pretty much that's your entire bag right there. 
So there's the candy corn duct tape bag made out of duct tape and a little bit of newspaper. Like I said in the beginning of, of the tutorial, you don't have to use newspaper. You can make these giant sheets out of just duct tape and then seal them up on the sides and on the bottom. I just used the newspaper because it was a little bit different. I've never used newspaper before. And if you have some lying around, it'll save you a little bit in duct tape when you are applying it, you know, uh, just onto the surface of the newspaper instead of making those giant sheets. So hopefully you guys liked the video and hopefully you'll utilize something cool like this for your, this Halloween. So catch you next time on the channel. Hope you liked it.